Hello everyone, Terry Cruz here, and this is NHL 24 on EA Sports. Hey everybody, Silver Spoon here. Welcome back to another NHL on EA Sports. This is the next matchup as we only got two more games to go before the postseason of the third time of the season. Between of the two, from in between for the uh, higher ranking to move on to the postseason reduction of the Stanley Cup playoffs and the other teams to be eliminated. Here are the next two opponents as right now we're getting ready for our next matchup. We have is the Vegas Golden Knights and they are at Canada in Ontario and Ottawa to face against the Senators. Now the Senators are never really that improving but they only lost two seasons in a row back-to-back -back in switches. The first season was in common after they played against the Seattle Kraken, but it was not much handling enough how foul improvement this is, how they did their own. And their second season was the last season loss against the Chicago Blackhawks. It wasn't a great day for them, but to tell them now, they want to do something else that they can try to keep on going and give it off to a fair stop. And now, Let's find out what happens this season. Here are the starting goaltenders, as right now Anton Forsberg is the starting goaltender for the Ottawa Senators, and Thompson is the starting goaltender for the Vegas Golden Knights. Here are the rest of the starting lineup, starting with the Ottawa Senators. Brady Kachuk has his trillance that has an evening hitter and be taking all of this lineup for his courtesy set. This may be a tough train job, but nobody has ever done like he does before. When you make a true silence, you got to make a fair commitment to your honor to have it all straight out as a captain. And Tim stood so. With a puck on the string, he has an up really stick, stick handling, and he might be able to take all of his look to go with a good time moment to try to figure it out the motion. And all the superstar players we got is Claudia Giroux, Thomas Chapa, and Vladimir Tarasenko which got replaced here for the New York Rangers, and now he's big with the Ottawa Senators. Now, let's meet your opposing visiting team of the Vegas Golden Knights. Here on the other side right now, as we give a good start off in between a Jack Eichel, an unstoppable force made here for the elite strength of the puck. He only makes a wheels, snipe, third eye, and take the tape. But his great thing is creating an unstoppable force if he can try to keep on coming out. Then it's Mark Stone with a yoink. Elite defensive stick lifts only have to be one of his best techniques to play on defense. How smart you do, and they always been a better play to make that transition count. This is a lot of great courtesy to maintain that they are looking for its players to try to put up a yoink defensive set, and hopefully on that occasionally, it will come better to go with the two. And last but not least is Alex Petrangelo. With a shutdown on a great rushing defensive set, he makes a lot of shutdowns to try to put up a body on a risk in between of those two without an open defensive breakdown in between for the two of the visiting team and the home team. Well, that's pretty much it right now. And the superstar players are in between of Shay Fedor, Jonathan March itself, and finally William Carlson. Now it's time to send you down to Canadian Tire Century. Standing him by, I have is Boomer. And he's along with the ever common days of the crew, with DJ Beast, and finally, Wood Spooning. The center ice of this game will be all counted for, will be all determination. Light ball. I'll see you later here at the post game show, right after this. With that being said, thanks for tuning with us, and we'll see you all later after the third period. Guys, it's all yours! Hi everybody, Boomer here and we are at Ottawa as we are about to be seeing the Senators and the Golden Knights here at Canadian Tire Century. Let's do this! Teams are ready to take their offense right now and let's find out who can take for the next win of the season. We are nearing down to the end of the regular season, and I hope you all enjoyed your games too, but this is where it comes down to here, so let's find out who takes here. Hill will be the starting goaltender for the Golden Knights, as right now, here's Barbashev, he will start the puck. 
He will kick it out over again to Eichel. Eichel spins to Pacengelo and now finding Martinez. Here's a look for Eichel. Eichel on the fast break and a shot stopped by Forsberg. That will be his first saving of the night here in the game. I know this was a lot of a hard of a tricky setup and motionary, but not to worry, they got him pretty insulting with the team. They really thinking that they really wanted to do more. And they are the Stanley Cup defending champions. They're looking like they wanted to do more. Let's find out how well they do. Here's the chuck. And the puck would lose his own right now as Martinez got the puck. Taking a long bite to Vicangelo. Give the quarter off again to Marjorie Martinez swings to Martinez and now finding again to Eichel. Here's Eichel back to Martinez. What a shot! Glove saved by Corpozalo. That will be the starting goaltender for the Ottawa Senators, as Forsberg will be the secondary one to replace here if another goal has changed. Now we are seeing that Corpozalo has played with the LA Kings, but now his moment is time. He might be looking for his way to step in with a new team. The Ottawa Senators are looking for a replacement and Murphy never really seen that one carrying on to it in between. You know how hard this goes? Because there might be one change to another. Well, I never see what was going to happen like that, and I've got a good, good feeling about in between. They need to do a lot of pressuring and inbounding. I have no questions to ask of what is going to happen. Maybe there's one way that nobody can never slow it down, or you could just tell them that you can definitely take all with the major credits, all for Corpozalo. It might be one way to go for it ever, but as you may already carried out, i got to say, it's one way to get out of here. Shot blocked by Tucson. There's one way that Copazano can definitely do. Try to give a quick defensive set, and this one will be the change off to do for its power play motion. If the team goes down, then you're going to need to do some, a little bit of replacement in here. Icing's whistled on Vegas Golden Knights, 15.48 to go in the first. All the sets are ready to take on for the Senators and the Vegas Knights. Still no score in the game. Here's Sanderson. Good block again. That's a great defensive set for the Vegas Knights. Now there's no way I can't say that Vegas Golden Knights got a great block and use of the funds. Every time they do this, they want to get it all cracking up. Stone gets stumbled down as Shreventi gives to Beverson. Beverson right over now. Pass broken up. Carlson with the stick handling. On motion inside. Rebound by Carter. Stopped by Corpusolo. Just got a good save in between. And right now we're under 15 minutes remaining in the first period. Here's a look for Brady Kachuk as light bulb stands by. Brady Kachuk is one of our true lenses that has his ultimate goals to him in strength. He knows he can do fast at this one miles per hour. But all it takes out with a lot of courtesy to do all for his own work. There is no question of how this would happen, but they may have been changing this all over this, but Brady Kachuk has a lot of the true lens list. He wants to put up with the getaway to go with the victim and go with the breakaway chain. I'll try to find out if Brady Kachuk has a true lens list way to make him settle in. Back to you guys. Now here comes Kachuk. He lost that puck this time. And March itself clears the puck out. Barbershop with the puck. Behind the net, looking for Margit Sol. That pass to the game, broken up. Now, here's White Cloud. Pass again to Martinez. Passes around the net. Barbashev. Roy on the shot, Corpusello saved. We're under 13 minutes remaining in the first period. Looking for a next one to get the goals in there. And we have a lot of time left to go. The win for Ottawa Senators, and now Kubalex again. Try to cheer with the puck. Here on the heavy inbound, in towards the corner, and pass is broken up. Pajangelo gives to Carrera. On a breakaway inbound, he finds again to Roy. Now gives off to Martinez. Here's Pajangelo. On a short range, to beat again. That one's deflected off the net, and it goes right towards the corner, and back to Kubalex. You don't get away with this one here. I, I gotta tell you now, there is nothing else that you can try to like keep them stalled in. You know what happens? Because they do this one all the time. Not even anybody can, because they don't have any groups to do this one in between the switch of how they're gonna do this. 
they really are just working in there between. There's a lot of great enforcement that they're trying to like keep the fuck out. But Jangelo got to cross and now Amedio will have his chance. He makes a save in the first try for Corpozello. Jorventi clears the puck out in the Knights territory. Vegas are back into the offense right now on its way down. Back to Amedio. Amadio on a breakaway. On the back end shot. Stopped by Corpozolo. Martin has rebound. Put up a big save by Corpozolo. Just nearing down the midway mark of the period. Still looking to get a goals in between the Senators and the Knights. Wynn puts in for Sanderson. No penalty called on Vegas for the Knights. Here's White Cloud. On a shot! The deep firing range has been denied. Button gives it over to get to Carlson. On a shot, he scores! That will be his first goal for Carlson, as he'll have his first goal in Ottawa. Take it on from here that Carlson really got to find out of here to beat the goaltender, and without the rage, he's got it clear. When after the full pressure went ahead, Carlson got a rip rocket here right towards to the net. Back on him straight for the target here, and that really gives him a good look at the effort. Can't get over it. Yeah, it is the call right now. I must say that William Carlson just got a great selling. He made that call. The start run puts in for Vegas on a 1 0 start over Ottawa. Now with the win, here's Sanderson. Zuck. Broken up the play as Howden will give it over now to White Five. Here's Stone. Fires the puck out of the range. Sup's got it now as Ottawa Sanders will have the possession. Guyland's with the puck. Buckling inbound to Joseph on the shot. Good save by Gill. Sanderson rebounds the puck. No penalty whistle here on Vegas Golden Knights. And no power play would give it up for by the Ottawa Senators. Rebound by Stone. New line changing for the Ottawa Senators as right now a couple players have checked out. And Howden will have to do his own work. Got White Cloud on it. Can't find an open man look of edge as he sights and put it around the board. Norris with the puck. Eight minutes to go in the first period as Sychuk will have that puck. Good shot. On to Terrence Echo. Shot. Good stop by Gill. Martin Salt. Try to clear the puck out, but it's been blocked out in the center ice. Terrence Senko. And have been bound. Hill with the hit save. 7 3 left in the first period, getting ready for the face off underway. We have those two. Let's have a look at Jack Eichel as Lightbulb stands by. Jack Eichel has a lot of an unstoppable forceman. He can try to like keep his own target angle and on a great shot and bound. He also may have his ultimate ability that he can try to like keep it going out of here on his own timing. As you notice that Brady Kachuk may have his own true lenses on, while he does have it all in inbounding, we're trying to find out what will go here. I'll be watching these two and this big inbound to find the best plays in between the Jack Eichel and a Brady Kachuk. Back to you guys. After a save by Corpozzolo, Another faceoff's coming in. 1 0 is still the score for Vegas Golden Knights. Win again for Chichur. Benar Docker has that puck across into the offense zone. Took for the hit here for the helmet. Kelly shot. Good stop by Good. Now Cotter will swing it over again to McNabb. McNabb gives it over across. Will clear the puck out of here. Icing whistle on Vegas Golden Knights with 6.06 to go. And in tireless defensive settles, any offense settlers will have to rehydrate with water. The win puts up here for the Vegas Senators. Rebound again! Stop again by Hill. After a block, it just really turned to be. It went settled inbound. I don't know what was going to happen. Battling for the loose puck in the shade. Chai Churn takes the puck over and he still recovers it. Amedio grabs that puck with the rip. Jartier again to Kelly. Kelly shot. Good stop by Gill. And this one goes with another save for the Golden Knights. Five minutes gone by in the first period as Cotter is in the deep settling zone. Tries to go with the move. Block the shot. Better our top again to Macewin. 
Base win. Can't hold on the puck. It's Chartier with the puck in zone. Give to Kelly. Kelly on a shot. Glove saved by Gill. Here he comes Eichel. He will have his own chance. Clears the puck out. Icing's waved off as Barbashev will have it right behind the net. Give to March itself. Battling for the puck on the chain. And as Sanderson will recover the puck. Ottawa Senators back in the offensive position. Loses the puck. Rebounded by Beverson. Kubalik's right in the cutting slot. Give to Cervante shot. Great save by Gill. And this one will send it out into the Senators' territory. There's no way of pressure into this appearance today. They are just really trying to bottle it up. They need to get that out of here. You know what? I've got a great feeling of in between. I have nothing to tell you. They got it all coming down. But Angelo has the uh, raging shutdown ability that has an all encounter to make this one a defensive settling in this puck. The range of his own is offensively a tough range and beyond. But not to worry, but for Changelo, he could try to like defend it and go with their block shot. I'm hoping to bet on this one here, there might be another change off for Changelo to keep on going. Back to you. Buck plays out of the zone, and right now Marcuson will have to grab it. Full pressure is off right now for the Ottawa Senators. Now back to Hutton. On a shot! Good stop by Corpozello with the glove save with 2.14 to go. Teams are ready to take the offensive side face off settling. We only have one more game left to remain, so if you're sticking around for the last game, we've got you covered here, as this one will be the last one to take as the Canucks battle against the Wilds in Minnesota. Now, they were never to be clearly, I never see them, and Vancouver Canucks really made that one a great start off to a season. Well, because of a higher franchising ability, I must say now, they've gotten pretty rough in the decent years. But they are finally coming back right now because there is a lot of great hustling weight and Vancouver Canucks, we've never seen them coming into the postseason many years. Corbizello with the glove save. Now he will stop the puck with only 1.13 left to go, winding down to the last minute of play in a period. Now they're off to a set, ready for the faceoff. 1-0, still the goal, still the score. Loose the puck as carried gets to Theodore. Theodore, now to McNabb, shot! That went head off in the goal post and this one goes right toward the glass and back to McNabb. We're under one minute remaining in the first period as Kachuk will have it. Looking to tie this game. McNabb's got the puck. Char Carrier again to Colson. Tries to settle inbound. Right now he gives it over. The puck is leaves the zone. Back to Fedor. Looks again to Colson. Will he have room? And this one stop. Rebound. And it's knocked away. Oh, what a great play for the Knights. But this one comes to the end of the first period. With Carlson shot, it's 1-0 for the Golden Knights. We'll take you a quick break and we'll come back after this. Hey guys, Set of Beast here. I have a quick announcement for you guys to just make that one another new change off here. Since we're coming down to the end of a season between the NHL and for the NBA, we're seeing things that we are going to look at in between from the skits that you will be finding things out right in between. But the very new skit, we're about to be rescheduled here, and I apologize if I ever do this one here. So, because of that point, I have now decided to make a new change off in between for the two, as I wanted to do something a little bit more different in between. So at this point, this video for the skit has been pushed back right now into April of 2024, at the end of a month, where I'm not really entirely sure what will happen, but it might be one chance that's going to happen to affect on this one. But the chances are, there's a lot of a great response that most people really love my skit coming in from many years ago for the start of it of 2020. As I mentioned it before, I've definitely done one of the real life scenarios here. And just like the real life happens right now, just to make it more clear, just to do for most part of the skit in between. I've done so many other uh, pressures that I might have a look of ability to try to like keep it all in coming. But it may not be ever happening again because there might be a one chance that I can try to like keep it over and I wanted to do some a little bit of a difference between for the skits to stick to uh, postponed production 
and definitely just try to reschedule it and get right to the point. I know everybody was looking for Strangely Unknown, but you know, you'll see this next video coming out right now on that showdown. If you already saw that one here from last year's Texas Hangout on the Object Show, you may have already recognized that, that it's just a new change off to go for. But in that case right now, here's another way that I will be doing. There is another great chance to have a new skit coming in there and bring new characters in and also the new season of the deals. Try to see what happens. There's another choice in between. And finally, we do have a little bit of announcement. So stay tuned for the BFDI and the Jack and Jell if you watch the release because you'll be never know what will happen. So if you're tuning in to the animation epics on the channel, be sure to subscribe again. And thank you for everyone who subscribed to this channel for 500,000 subscribers. And 2 million subscribers already reached. That was part of the last year's celebration. I can't thank you enough for helping Jack and Jellyfy to reach their goals. And finally, I wanted to talk about this, is that I want to address to you guys to make sure that we do have a new season coming up here for the Never Sport, but what is it all called? Well, I'm not sure what it will be. If you expect it, if you watch the WNBA, well, okay, I'll definitely do the new season on that one here as well. Since you guys already watched it before, this will be the start of a new season for the WNBA here on 2K Sports. This will be a new production that will be starting to bring things on, and this will be the start plan to give it off and go. Now you may have expected of how much they've done because there's a lot of great WNBA players, especially to Sue Bird, which is now the head coach. You may realize that Sylvia Fowles. Yes, I definitely know that it was gonna be like that. But not to worry, they can do anything like they did. And because of that, you can definitely count that for as a new season to go with the goals. In the meantime, I guess that will be the next one to start off with. We'll be beginning on July 7th. That will be the start plan for their game here to get right into this one for a new season of the WNBA. And I hope you guys will enjoy this to do another new career and a new level to get started off. Anyways, that's it for announcements. Enough talking. Let's get back into hockey rink. As right now, Boomer stands by along with the other guys as well. For the EA Sports crew, back to you. Son of Beast, out. Welcome back to Canadian Tire Century as we're about to start things off for the second period. And we're off to go. On out to the second period in between the Ottawa Senators and Vernon Knights. Let's have the first recap take as right now I have it all standing by here in between the DJ Beast and Boots Booty. Well, you know the reason why I was definitely telling you that uh, the Vegas Golden Knights, they were really that powerful on the team. Let me tell you this. Every time you definitely do some a little bit of offensive drills, you have to do some a lot of techniques in between. You've got a lot of passes to go in between. You've got work to do. But every time when you play in that game, you've got to get that one off for a great opportunity range. They've done a lot of passes on that between, but one goal made, it all comes to Carlson who just got that goal and made that one in there. I know that technique is turning out quite fantastic, but let me tell you, it's going to get a lot of hard ones to take in between the amount. And absolutely, I can't even say enough how much they've been doing this. They would like to do some, a lot of defense thing to do a lot of strategy, but the great thing is, everybody does the same thing too. <laughs> Definitely the right thing. But you know, I would love to see how much they do. You know what? If there's one player I would love to see who definitely handles the cross, I would love to find out if Martin Jones could definitely try to help him out with their team. And also Forsberg, if they can handle this one in pressure, maybe the higher goaltenders, may have it possible for the Ottawa Senators. Well, let's say how well I do. Maybe they wanted to leave it like that. <laughs> you can't just let them leave it by themselves, like, by themselves again. I mean, you got it all down, you got it coming. Yeah, exactly true. <laughs> His noise, he'll have that puck saved me by Hill. And a good stop made for Aiden Hill. He just made that with a lot of hits to take all of his inbounding. Stephenson on tight turn. Battling for the puck and he will have it recovered. Sussel then to Tychuk. 
He's on his way down. Gets bumbled up here as McNabb will have it now to Howden. Taken down here by Big by Bernard Docker. Takes that puck back to Tarasenko. Chai Chen with the puck now and finally again to serve. Amidio trying to hold on to that. Poked it. Rebound. Saved by Gill. That one puts up another big save here for the, for the Golden Knights to pick it off. Here's Cutter in the corner now. Trying to find the Fedor shots. Corvisala makes a save. An easy look at the run. You've got to hit that one. All you've got. The goaltenders, it's a lot of great reaction that he had made that one. A stoppable force run. Just take him out of here. Here's Chiyokes with the puck. Now finding again. Says at the tie in. This one saved again by Gill. Amidia with the puck. On a one on one fast break. Ooh, got a little spin around here. And he made the backhand go in. Amadio with 44 goals. And he has his first goal in the game. And Ottawa. What a great timing. A consight. Amadio got to break out with that spin move. You know what this happens now? Because you give it a look at the target range with the puck. You just got to hit that backhand right in. And that wouldn't give a good reaction out of it, but the Gurney gun didn't go notice what happened to Corposato if the puck was going to drive it in. That one's just going to give a hard pressure to their take. I, and that being said right now, it is a toughness to be honest. Right now, a medio with a backhand goal, I have never seen anybody doing this. But you can't tell them now that the Golden Knights have a fun an answer to go with the, with the block shots and also their backhand shots. Yeah, exactly true. Maybe there's one way that you got to show them off with their respect. Here's White Cloud. Almost lost that puck as Martin Salt give it back again to Eichel. Eichel goes down. Rebounded by White Cloud. Diagonal again to Barbashev. That puck sends out a reach. Back again to Harmonic, again to Peverson. 2 on 1 opportunity. Block that puck with a slap shot, and this one will be checked again to Hutton. Vegas are back in offense right now as Pulsar will try to handle the pressure out of here. Another hit for the, for the Ottawa Senators as they have 20. Pulsar. Potential pass. Holds it puck here and now finding Martinez. Martinez trying to keep the puck out. Pulsar. And the puck escapes the zone. And this one will try to regroup their offense in a position. Here's Roy right towards the outside. Now finding Progenzolo. Shot! Saved by, by Corpozzolo. Blocked on the move. Here's Ironic. A rebound put it in for Ottawa Senators as he finds Bronstorm. Skating near the crease. Gets a smash down right toward the boards. Another hit for the Golden Knights. Well, they're pretty decent. Armor up, take him down. Diagonal, unable to make it from here as Corpozzolo will have to cover it up with 11.30 to go. Well, no one coming in right now as we're ready for another Face-off coming up, as right now it's still 2-0 for the Golden Knights. Chai Chern has that puck, he will now hand it over to Joseph. Joseph smashed down, and we'll have to cut puck clear it out. Diagonal again to Amadio, now finding Cutter. Both guys, a 2-1-2 two -two attack. This one goes to Amadio, shot! Good stop here by a goaltender of Corpusalo. Making another huge save in this game. And this one stays back. Theodore trying to look for more on Amadio. Diagonal again to McNabb. Again to Theodore. Looks to Amadio. Amadio on a shot release. Almost inbound. Almost would have been in trouble at this point. And this one stays out of the net. Marchitzel has that puck. In full pressure. Shot. Drops been blocked right toward the corner of the wall. Back again to Marchitzel. Looks inbound. He denies the shot. Eichel again, back again to Theodore, and now over again to McNabb. Stick lifted as recovered by the Ottawa Senators, but now the Vegas Knights still have the pressure. They really are not even enough to take their all the advantage out there, and there might be another way to get through. Referee has been signaled right now as the penalty has been called on Ottawa Senators with a slashing. There is no way that you're never going to do the slashing at this point, 
you're going to have a tough time to do this and you do not want that to go right in between. Well, the Knights still have some time and right now it goes offside as the penalty has been called on Ottawa Senators. Jaya looks in the penalty box. First power play is coming on for the Vegas Golden Knights. Now the Knights are ready to take their power play for the first time here in the second period. Wayne puts in for the Ottawa Senators, as right now he will clear it out. Now finally again to Cotter again to Prochangelo. Here's Prochangelo, he will have that puck right inbound. Barbashev holds on. He finds again to Cotter. Now he looks over again to Prochangelo, now back to Cotter. Inbound to Barbashev, shot. Almost went to flick it in, but it went straight out. That was close, but not even too much has happened. Going to be a crazy look at you looking forward. Corbisella stops the puck. He made that great save with under eight minutes. Now that saving is going to take a lot of time for Corbisella. You may have a, a chance to do this, but don't get that one uncomfortable. You might have it all to try to keep the puck out of the net. And they're really up to the assault to take over it. Here's the open pass for Chandler. A shot. Block the shot. Carlson. Give it again. Try to give it over now again. And a shot pass has been broken up. Harmonic. Puck clears out of the zone. 45 seconds for the power play advantage for Vegas. And Marge himself with the puck. He's now in to the center's territory. Back again to Carlson. Carlson. Carlson gets lost out of here. And this one goes right all the way back to the Vegas territory. Uh, that passing is not getting enough good well enough. They need to do something else about it. Here's Marchessault with the puck. Done a two on one fast break. Rebound. Hit the goalposts. That was so close. And this one just got away with it. Not even a choice call in there. And the power play is over. Well, in that case, the you may never get the notice. But Stone wasn't able to get the goal in time. That may have been pushing it there too close. And that wasn't going to get there just enough to go with another goal for the power play advantage for the Vegas Golden Knights. They really are trying to get there. All on the fast break. Carlson shot. City by Corpozzolo. Two times stop by Corpozzolo. Stop the play inbound with 5.45 left to go in the second period. Danger set. Ready for another faceoff. The score is still 2-0 for Vegas Golden Knights. The win puts up here for the Ottawa Senators. Bernard Docker. Try to give over it again to Tychuk. Good chuck right toy in the middle of the center ice. Now finding Bernard Docker. And he lost that puck. He goes down. No icing is called here. As right now Barbashev's in the pedal right behind the net. Now give to McNabb over it again to Roy. Roy on a spin inbound. Shot! It's been directed again back to Fedor. Here's Robichet back to McNabb. On a shot! It's blocked up by Bernard to Docker, and Kachuk will have that puck in reach. Here's another one for Kachuk. In the corner, finds Tarasenko, and it's blocked. Kolsar will try to clear the puck out of here. And icing will be whistled on Vegas Golden Knights. 4 4 left to go in the second period. Looking to get a goal for the Ottawa Senators. After a true lens to take down for Brady Kachuk, it's still a 2 0 for the Vegas Golden Knights. Win for a tight turn. And a good block by Barbashev. You know, an easier way when you could go do the, uh, put, with the, put, the uh, put the puck up block on the shot, you really have to crouch down for that. That's a great defense. Jurox right toward the corner, now fighting inside, and this one has been broken up by Fedor. Stone clears the puck out. The Ottawa Senators are back into the offense right now, finding again to Stolzer. Stolzer finding Gorox. Gorox went down, under three minutes remaining in the second period. Stone on his way down, gives it deep to Roy. Can't get enough to go. Stone keeps it alive. 
Here's another one for Martinez on the shot range and bounty scores. Oh man, we have three goals coming in action. One for first and two in second. There's no way but Alex Martinez really had that one in there. That deflected off the goaltender or just went in. I can't tell you enough that Alex Martinez just really made that one sloppy. On that shot, that went right off the pad and it just gone right towards in the net. You can't just take him out if you have all of it coming down. When all that simple right now is Alec Martinez really made that one a slap shot of a goal. He's looking like he's going to get another one to take. But that slappiness, that puck was stayed directed in behind the goaltender that was right towards the net. Nobody can really see what is going to happen right now, but this is a lot of the courtesy that they're trying to get over this. They've been doing a lot of offensive for our routine settling. They just really need to do something else about it and try to keep it on going. And I know they're doing it a lot of hard ones and bound, but let's find out how all Alex Martinez will do on with the full steam pressure for the Knights. Back to you guys. Buck back in his own here for the Senators. Stone trying to give it over again to Stephenson. And here comes the Martinez again, two in a row is knocked out by Corpozzolo. Did a good hard target, really well done, but it didn't really help it. And a shot's blocked. One minute remaining in the second period as Stephens in and the battling puck continues. Here you got some tired defensemen out there, just still not getting enough. Backhander tries to pluck it in there and it's knocked out. Sanderson with the puck. Spurs around, now finding Stozo. Taking along by Kelly. Kelly, will he have another chance action to do with the goal? And this one's knocked out. Rebound shot, saved by Hill. Norris, Sanderson, and he bound it, and it's knocked out. What a great looking performance for Senators, but not enough to get a goal. Just three goals remain for the Knights, and we'll get, take a quick break, and the final period will be coming up after the break. You're watching the NHL on EA Sports. It's about that time. We are down to the final period in Canada of Ontario, of Ottawa. And we are all set, ready to take things on for the last time. Now, they were not happy enough about their goal because they have really been shoving him down. They have nowhere else to get out of here at this point. The Senators are really having a hard, tough timing to do some a lot of routine skills. How does it really take that the Senators need to do some a lot of like, extra routine to go with their setup, guys? Well, in that case, they're really just doing it a lot harder. They can't let him get away with that. And I know that Brady Kachuk really did well with the true lengths. They've done really well to try to keep that one defensive. And that setup up just really went well. I'm really happy enough that they're doing it. But the Senators, they need to do some a little bit of changes right now because they got to go practice and then they got to go back on ice to do it again. It's a lot of game changes and they only have a couple games left. Marchitzel got bumbled down here in the corner of the wall, and here comes Tarasenko. Tarasenko's in the corner, finding North. Shot stopped by Hill. What a great reaction for Aiden Hill with just under 18 minutes, and they're ready for another face-off. You know that bigger one, the banger on the hit? You know how tough that could be? A hard, painful kill. Sanders are glad and ready for the face-off. 3-0 for the Vegas Golden Knights, up by three. Win again for the Ottawa Senators. Try to turn shot to fleck it off the skater. Stone, give to Pertangelo. Take it along by Stephenson. Here he comes to hard end with a shot and range is stop made by Corpozzolo. Another big stop, stop in motion run for the Ottawa Senators on the goaltender. And they made that one another huge thing to try to stop the inbound. Pertangelo. Went down, no penalty called on Ottawa Senators. Well, they're really quiet out there. They need to do something else. But can't find anybody. Let's try to give it again to Gyros. Gyros went down. And now they will have to try to regroup their team. And now back into the offensive zone. The shot range saved me by Corbizalo. But Jangelo finds again to Cotter. Cotter. And bad. He lost the puck, but he could save it. And he just got it in there. Cotter with his first goal. Extension now with a 4-0 lead in Ottawa. 
Oh, he's that tricky. I don't know how is he going to stop that play. But he went closer. They should have called at that point. They should have said attempt to say no goal. I don't know what to tell you now, but Connor just really found it out. He just keeps going. Wow. Can't tell you how much he does, but that is a big bounding attack. Can't tell you much enough, but they are just going big. Yeah, and easy to say because you know that Carter really got uh, lost, almost lost that puck, but that was a great settling to kick the inbound. I can't tell you much how he does, but he's doing really well. What a great recovery for Carter and the puck to score. Amenio back again to Carter. Carter looking for more room. He finds Fedor. Fedor on a short range inbound. Almost went tipped in and this brainstorm takes it out. Kubalik's with the puck. 15 minutes to go in the third, third period. Bamerson, will he do it? No. Cutter takes that one puck and he slails it out of here. Kolsar will swing it out to Carlson. Vegas back into the offensive zone in Descenders territory. Fedor give it again to McNabb. Over now to Carlson. Great pass up in between for the Vegas Golden Knights as they keep their puck alive going. Shot in range. That deflected off the skater and this one goes right towards the wall. Rebound by Carlson again to Fedor. Fedor on the backhand. Block the shot. The chuck with the puck. Racing in and the save puts up by Hill. There's no way that they, it's going to have to like keep him out of here. Or he could chuck would have have to beat against Hill. That would have been a great amount. Okay, with the puck. Deep again to Fedor. Fedor goes down. Puck escapes his own. Number one for Carrier. Carrier inbound. Try to scoop it in. Pat the save made by Corbizalo. Still keeping it out of sight right now. And the offside's called on Vegas Golden Knights. With just 12.47 left to go, having made their way to the midway mark of the period. Now off to a face-off. It's still a 4-0 run, and they are looking like they want to do another shout-out, just like the Stars did at the Buffalo Sabres on the other side. But they only have 5-1. and one. We'll see what happens if there's another goal coming in. Barbashev gives it again to Hutton. Here's another one for White Cloud on the shot. Trying to put it back into the deflection, but Zuff got it back. You know, an easier attacking because of the funds of zone really can't stand a lick. They just need to do something else. Here's Darren Senko. On a shot, stopped by Gill. Eichel with the puck. Deep the round in there. Barbashev's got to recover. And now finding Hutton. Here's another one for a pass. Barbashev's got the puck. Inbounding shot, he scores! Oh boy, the fans are going silent right now in desperate relief as Barbashev had that goal in him. When you're looking at Mayor Barbashev, you can say that the puck was really settling it in. When you make that cut inbound, you just have to go right past the goaltender, go ahead and give it a shot. He just made that one a good look. An easier way to do this is to try and like keep that one out. And a stable is not going to be easy enough for Barbashev to cut. You can hear the fans, they are disagreeing on the, the Golden Knights. This is not their day to be out there for the win. Yeah, it's been a pretty nightmare run. So it looks like the Corpusano is out again, and Forsberg's going to have to replace him. Here's Joseph with the puck. Trying to give the draw up shot. Chopped on the block angle as right now Gil will try to keep it out. Now Howden will have it. Here he come right toward the wing. Shoots inbound. It's blocked. Stephenson will try to give again to Martinez and now find Richangelo. He gets pumped out. Pretty foul. Another one for Richangelo. Stephenson. Keeps a puck out of here without calling offside. Good connection here from the red line. Poked it away. Down to a midway mark of the period as Beverson's in the corner. Recovery by the Petrangelo. And Stephenson will give it over to Game of Stone. Vegas Golden Knights are back in the offensive zone. Trying to go for another handle run shot. It's stopped by Forsberg. Zolp on his way across down towards the other line. Trying to beat a goaltender. That one's still denied. Cool song. Right toward in the corner after the defender man go down. 
And uh, and shot Forsberg with the second save of a night. That will be the end for Corpusolo as he already give up each periods on three periods at a time. Not easy choice. I can tell I can tell you now that it's just not easy enough to take for 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 Corpusolo because he really just got him pretty bad at it. And I don't think nobody will have to pay response right now because Corpusolo just couldn't make the resist and he couldn't recover it on the inbound. Here's another one to Roy. Roy spins around. Shot saved by Forsberg. 8.23 left to go in the third period. Still a 5-0 game. Looking for a goal for Ottawa Senators. As we have a look right now, let's send it over to Lightbolt with the player bound. I have to say right now, Jack Eichel, he's really been doing a lot of his unstoppable forcing at this angle. You know this offense has been turning great. I can't tell you how much he has been doing this for his ice hockey appearances and playing with their defending champions against the other team of the Florida Panthers. They really are into a great inbound, and we love to have Eichel on the force pressure. Here's Kachuk, he will have his own time. One-on-one -on -one opportunity. Pass to Sarasenko, denied by Hill. This goes back again to Eichel. Deep inbound, try to stop the goaltender for Forsberg. Hutton. Goes down. Eichel recovers the puck. White clock shot. Stopped by Forsberg. Eichel with the puck. Under seven minutes remaining in the third period. Lost that puck. White clock recovers it. Eichel on a shot. Stopped again by Forsberg. You know, the easier way to do Forsberg is to show him who's the boss to show him how it's done. They can't let him leave the mark. Darren Sanko. Into the ninth territory. He out to the shot, stop made by Hill. Hutton, give it again to Eichel. And there is a delay penalty call as the referee has made a signal. It's going to be a, well, a boarding call on the Senators. Oh man, I do not like that because that is definitely a holding possession. Not a great choice. And Brady can chop. He's gone pretty mad out there. Not a great day. Two major penalty kills for Ottawa Senators as now the power play is on for the Golden Knights. Looking for an extension to try to keep him out. Now the win for the Ottawa Senators as Sanderson will have that puck in bound. Now Cotter will have it. He finds again to Stone. Stone on the inbound. Passes to get the march itself. Here's the outside look. Cotter shoots inbound. Stopped by Forsberg. 5.22 left to go in the third period as the time is already winding down. If you're looking for a chance to get into the playoffs, then you should be in here too. Get into the game with the NHL, NHL.com slash the postseason, and you can get in to join in with the playoffs inbound from your favorite teams in the postseason. Sign up now here, and then you can get a saving chance to go right in between each games for the 2024 Stanley Cup playoff games. Here, here on NHL.com slash tickets. And you can be the next one in here to join the game and for fun. Enjoy your postseason. Speaking of which right now, i got to say now, they're looking like they're really enjoying the flow. And the flock of the Knights, they're just enjoying hockey too. Everybody's been doing it on some certain day. We love hockey. Yeah, it's everybody's favorite game. The win puts up again for the Ottawa Senators. Nothing for the Vegas Golden Knights. Here's Sozo. Sozo goes down. Back again with one minute in the power play for the Knights. Carlson with the puck. Give again to Cotter. Shots inbound. Forsberg. Nice club catch. And this one goes with another save. Under 4.40 to go. Just enough time for another face-off, as right now still a 5-0 game for Vegas Knights. The win puts up for Chaitcher. Chaitcher gets smashed out. Criteria with the puck. Lost that one, as right now Roy has it back. He clears the puck out of here, and right now Stephenson will have it in the corner and bound to Fedor. Keeps the puck rolling back and forth. Go back to Fedor. Time is almost running down. 
Looks like Brady Kachuk's time is almost up. And right now the power play is over for the Vegas Golden Knights. They are back down with a full man strength in between. They are nothing but you really wanted to tell. I can't say it. this is not. He's all alone. And I can't do this great stop by Forsberg. That's another big save here for the Ottawa Senators. Oh, can't get away with that one here. Two-time stop for Forsberg. Here's Eichel with the puck. Trying to fuck it in there, and this one stopped again by Forsberg. Just 2.46 left to go. Ottawa Senators having trouble, and they might be out of here with the season. Ottawa wins another faceoff. He is out of it. Clears the puck out of here, and right now this will be the end of it to take them all. Vegas Golden Knights back into the offensive side and now finding Stephenson. Stephenson gets wiped out and recovers the puck. Martinez now finding Bertangelo. He goes down. Recovers it. Back again to Howden. Howden trying to get this stone shot. One timer stopped by Forsberg to deny that shot range. You know, in typing, it's not really an easy task to do. But you can't just take him over with the unstoppable force. Now both teams are ready to take on with just 1.6 remaining in the third. Win again for the Ottawa Senators. Treacher with the buck with just now down to 90 seconds. They need to get their goal out of the way and the shot was 2-1. So, push the buck out and Zub will have it. The Senators gain their control. Howden's got that puck. Regaining their control is Stone. One minute remaining in the third period. As we always know, that D'Angelo, that Pretangelo and their team, they've already lost two seasons already with the Blackhawks and for the Arizona Coyotes. But now they are finally getting a win. Yeah, every day, and all the times to pay, a good night for the, for the Knights to win the whole thing. And for now, it's an unbeatable score that's trying to stop one in between for the Ottawa Senators as they can't get enough to get the goal. And that will be it for the Knights. Zub, will he try to get there? With a shot, it's denied. Last chance for the Senators. Shot, and it's all over. Golden Knights celebrate their unstoppable win. A shutout win over the Ottawa Senators. Well, you're never going to get that enough that credit. You always get to go an excellent playing mode. You got a big win to celebrate in on the world. I like this really mentioned. They got pretty good. With me, Boomer, along with Wood Spoonie and DJ Peace, this has been a presentation of the NHL on EA Sports. Thanks for joining us and have a great night. Alright, thank you guys so much. Time for three star players of the game. Ivan Barbashev with a goal assist and four gets made of an incredible run. Just a great shot to take an eye on. Mike Amedio with a goal and assist. A same thing goes with Ian Barbashev. But he did something different. He made a backhand to try to beat against Corbazalo. Excellent type to do go for all. And Aiden Hill is your first star player of the game with 29 saves. He's excellent out there. Not for Thompson, of course. Here's how he did for the total statistics. 53 over 29 for the total shots on goal for Vegas Knights. 42 over 31 for Ottawa. 14 40, 21 over 338 time on attack for Vegas. 36 face-up wins for Ottawa over on the Vegas Knights. And their penalty kill was Ottawa Senators with four minutes. No power play goals made for the Vegas Golden Knights as they only played on power play for just four minutes. Well, I guess that's it. It looks like we do have one more game to go, and I'm pretty excited. If you are ready for the Stanley Cup playoffs, then you should be in here too. And as of right now, the last game will be heading in right now for next week. As of right now, for next Saturday, it will be the last one to take to close this off of the season. As we see the Canucks playing against the Minnesota Wilds and that will be happening here in St. Paul at XL Energy Center Arena. Hope you all enjoyed this one and we'll see what happens for another rival week and for the postseason to get in. See you folks next time. And in a while as the NHL 24.
on EA Sports Style. Along with Lightbulb and the crew, I'm Silver Spoon. Ciao now, until next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.